Okay, beautiful. So that's now underway. So, well, thank you very much, everyone, for joining. Um, look, just to go through a bit of an uh, intro to the cloud, uh, I hope a lot of guys are already getting out in the cloud market. Um, just to give you a, a brief overview of uh, the you know, the, the agenda and the cloud marketplace we'll go through. So uh, we'll be doing an introduction to the marketplace. Um, we'll also have Marty taking lead on the ID sync components we'll be covering, uh, from the automation to the identity management pieces uh, available for ID sync. Um, we'll also be going through the how to transact the ID sync program, as well as there's some Q&A at the end. So any questions you do have, the chat box is available, so feel free to shoot your questions through. Um, we'll do our best to answer them throughout the session. We will have a session at the end to go through all the Q&A pieces. Um, so I said, throw those questions in at any time they come through, uh, and we'll get all the back to those as best we can. So I said, welcome to the Micro Cloud Marketplace. So just a bit of a brief overview before we get um, straight into all the, the IT Think part of this uh, session. Um, so just to give you a um, bit of an overview in regards to the Cloud Marketplace, you know, we are a continuously growing and developing part of the Micro um, piece. And I just see some questions coming in. So guys, there is audio coming through. I've got some people confirming it. So um, if you're not hearing audio, um, it's just me. So audio is is going through. So if, um, yeah, if anyone's having an issue on the um, send it through on chat. Um, so in in regards to cloud marketplaces, so we are continuously growing and developing. Um, you know, part of the Ingram Micro ecosystem. You know, developing our cloud marketplace in multiple regions of our vendor portfolio within the Ingram Micro cloud space. Uh, you know, year on year we are seeing huge growth and greater access to a lot of vendors for all of our reseller partners, so a huge opportunity and, and, and reach available for uh, our cloud marketplace to you, our partners, our resellers. Uh, as I said, quite a, quite a diverse product offering and range for a lot of our partners. Uh, you'd be able to you know, upsell and bundle a lot of those solution offerings on those monthly or, or annual solutions, giving you that much deeper relationship with your own customers to be able to diversify that solution and be able to take advantage of all the solution offerings that are available from those higher margin cloud products, as well as the ease of managing all those through a single solution and a single single portfolio. So I said it is a very lay, layered system that we do have available, covering uh, from our cloud marketplace for our purchasing and provisioning, uh, all the way through to the administration and billing, uh, which is one of the pieces we'll be talking about the integration today with ID Sync through to platforms like Connectwise, uh, which is also our product available from Ingram Micro as well as a mix of lifecycle services and service deck solutions available, pulling the full Ingram Micro ecosystem together, allowing our partners to take full advantage of the, the solution offerings that we have. As I said, we do offer a very diverse range of, of product offerings and product solutions, uh, all the way through from a referral basis for our partners who aren't quite ready to have that full billing ownership, all the way through to the, the full managed platform tiers available for those hosting and enterprise partners. Uh, so the referral and marketplace and cloud store are the ones that a lot of our partners are experiencing today through the Ingram Micro Cloud Marketplace. And look, just as a quick little 101 overview for our cloud marketplace, for anyone who's not currently yet active on our marketplace or is not yet transacting on our cloud marketplace, getting yourself online and activated is really easy. It's a three-step process. Uh, heading to our website at au.cloud.in and just simply log in with your existing Ingram Micro Tech Link or the Ingram Micro uh, portal page, log in with the exact same credentials and access your Ingram Micro account. So we do have a lot of uh, you know, the information coming across from your existing account and we do offer you that single sign-on, giving you the ability to have that one login to Ingram Micro, that's both your traditional and your cloud solution stack. So our marketplace is multi-layered multi as well, as I've mentioned before, and, and each of the layers has a separate set of functionality allowing you to manage and control each layer of the, for your customers as well as your, your own management of these subscriptions. Uh, so from our cloud marketplace, which is a front end to purchase and procure new services, through to the reseller control panel to manage existing services and customers, all the way down to the end customer control panel, which will have some updates coming out later this month, which we'll be sending out over our communications to allow you to manage the individual customer subscriptions and solutions uh, from deploying to additional products, 
all the way through to deploying new products and services. So a lot of improvements coming out on that front. Um, and as I mentioned, we do have a very, very diverse range of solutions available. Um, so this is just some of the ones that we have uh, available today. There's more in the roadmap. Um, as mentioned, ID Think is our, our latest addition to come on board to be able to extend on this uh, portfolio that we have, which is continuously growing and developing. Uh, so you will see this grow uh, over the coming months uh, and continuing to grow for months on. So look, without any further ado, I'm going to get um, straight on to the, the, you know, the best part of this presentation, which is uh, the ID Sync or the Identity Synchronizer, and we have Marty here. So Marty, you still, still active online? I'll, I'll let you take over from now. Still here, Brent, and thank you for the warm welcome. Uh, you know, I don't know what to say other than we're very excited to, um, you know, be represented by uh, Ingram in Australia and New Zealand. We've been working with uh, Ingram in Canada and the United States for uh, about the last uh, 18 months at this point. And uh, so uh, trying to, you know, getting launched in Australia is a brand new market for us. So we, we have done some business down there before in the past. Uh, we've been working with uh, Odin Automation um, for a number of years and, uh, of course, with Autotask. And so in the MSP marketplace, there's a, a, a large number of Autotask uh, retailers down in the Australia market. Um, so uh, what I want to do today is just kind of a, you know, in 20 or 30 minutes, you, you can do a high-level overview uh, and so what I'd like to show you is really the uh, product portfolio, where it sits in the marketplace, what some of the common customer scenarios are, um, and, um, you know, where the fit is for the product line. Next slide, please. Yeah, so um, just to kind of do it sequentially, the, uh, when we first started working with Ingram, um, uh, actually about two years ago, uh, we were really focused on active directory integration into the marketplace, hosted exchange, et cetera. And they had identified an issue with their reseller community in terms of trying to get billing data out of the marketplace into the uh, PSA systems, ConnectWise and Autotest. So we had a lot of experience with PSA systems, experience with the this Odin automation. And for those of you who maybe everybody knows it, but Odin Automation is the control panel that the marketplace runs on. So we understood our way around that. So it was real natural for us to um, add uh, this layer of billing integration uh, between the marketplace and PSA product. And so, it, and, and it followed a philosophy where, um, which we really adhere to is, what, what we think is we think we like information where it's entered once into a system and then it's just, synchronized or replicated, whatever, and copied over to other databases where it's needed. It was always the philosophy we, we pursued with active directory synchronization, and, we get, and it's the same thing that we've applied to the billing data. The data is sitting there in the marketplace. There's just not a need to really try and re-keyboard it into your own systems, and so that's what we were trying to do. Um, the um, third bullet up there is a new product that we've just introduced um, where you can actually log into a cloud portal and do what we call level one active directory management from a portal using a browser. So um, we know there's a lot of MSPs that are trying to provide um, AD management services for their customers. And one of the impediments to that is all the issues around VPN, login through firewalls, all those kinds of things. And so what we've done is, is put a, uh, we put a portal up in Ingram Micro. You can log directly into that portal and have all your customers' active directories available to you on tabs in, in a single screen, so you can manage them through there. Um, the, the fourth bullet down, uh, the active directory. So we've always done hosted exchange. Now we do hosted exchange with Office 365 and um, Azure, and then to the, other, to the extent that there are third-party applications that exist inside of um, uh, the marketplace that adhere to what's called the APS2 bus, then um, we can read and write to those applications also. So what we're trying to pursue is a strategy, we, we call it the AD bus for the APS2 bus, 
right? And so if you need AD integration into any of the ISV applications inside of uh, the Ingram Marketplace, uh, we're, we're probably your best chance of getting there without doing custom development. Uh, next slide, please. Um, I want to introduce you. So this is the same product portfolio I just talked about, but to, just to try and give it to you in context. Uh, Brent, do I have a cursor control? No. Uh, so um, to, uh, to try and uh, – so I guess I just have to say, so over on, over on the lower left, which you'll see, you'll see Active Directory. So this is your customer's Active Directory. Um, you're, you're represented as an MSP, above that with Autotask or ConnectWise, and then the marketplace course is over on the right-hand side, right? And so we glue all these systems together with various kinds of connectors. So, you know, we're, we're very what I would call Active Directory centric. And um, so we're going to come back to this slide uh, a couple of times during the course of this presentation just to try and create context for you. Um, so I just kind of want to introduce this to you here about you know, how these things are all glued together. And you enter data once, and, and the system just basically knows about it and goes ahead and synchronizes it wherever else in the system is needed. Um, next slide, please. Uh, keep going. So let's just introduce you to the billing studio for Autotask and ConnectWise here. So back up one slide. Right here. So up in the upper left, you can see Autotask and ConnectWise. And so if you follow that down to the lower right corner, that's the connection between there and Odin Automation. So it's the, the single connector uh, across those two, uh, he, those two hex symbols. Uh, next slide. Uh, so this is a somewhat different view of how do you get cost and count data out of uh, the marketplace and get it directly to where it's needed inside of your PSA system. And so that's the function that uh, we do with uh, this billing studio, this integration connector. Next, please. Um, this, is, this is a somewhat different view, right? So what you have to do is, if you think of the marketplace as a portal over on the left, right, you have to, like, reach down through it and you have to sort through all the service providers, all the customers, all the subscriptions, you know, get that cost and count data all the way from the bottom. And then you have to match it on, on the right side. So if you're looking at a ConnectWise portal, I and mean, it could be Autotask portal or, or it could be ConnectWise on-prem too, right? But you have to do the same thing. You have to sort through all those service providers, customers, and then take that same cost and count data and drop it exactly in the record on the agreement uh, or uh, on the uh, contract where it's needed. And so then what we do is we give you the raw data to tee it up so that you can turn, uh, you can get an invoice out the door on time without having to actually touch the data yourself. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, the, uh, I just, want, I just want to emphasize, too, on the billing studio, right? So we don't really alter the billing process at all. So whatever billing process you're involved in, what we're delivering is, is cost and license information into your records, and we tee it up for your, in, your, for your invoicing process. Right? So, we don't, we, we, so everybody's billing process is a little bit different. We did not try and, you know, get into the, uh, get into the details of that. Um, this ID Sync Contacts is uh, another integration we have for both Autotask and ConnectWise. Next slide. Um, and this is just representative of what I would call the largest security problem. So a lot of MSPs have a need for um, customers to be able to uh, log into their PSA system, and the question becomes, well, which employees log in and which privileges do they have? Um, and when they go away, how do you get rid of them? And then how do you deal with password management? All those kinds of issues, right? And so this is what I would call it the classic enterprise security system. It doesn't really matter if you're dealing with Autotask, ConnectWise, or uh, hosted exchange or whatever system. You have this problem everywhere you go. And I would say this is the 
this is the heart of the business for us, right? It's the synchronization between Active Directory and some target system. In this case, um, it's, it's between Active Directory and uh, ConnectWise uh, or Autotask. Next slide. Right. So when you when you think about it, if you're if you're an administrator, then you have this issue of you know how do I manage permissions and you know how do I get my customers into the contact system and if you say like why do I want them in there as contact? The answer starts to become well, it's useful for actually make your system go right. You need it for CRM data, you need it for help tickets, you need it for phone numbers, you need it for all those kinds of things of why do you need to know who your end users are, right? Um, and, and at the same time, for uh, end users, there's an issue about, you know, how do I actually log in, what permissions do I have, and then, you know, the key issue is what's my password? And when I change my password on my system, so what we do is we just solve the whole problem, right? We just synchronize passwords and this personal data, right, and get it all up in the – and so when they change their – when they change either their personal data or their passwords in their local system, it changes it in the PSA system, and it gives them a, uh, a, a single password user experience for both their local system login and it's the same password for uh, logging into the PSA system. Next, please. So, for, so this is, you know, this is what I would call the industry way of talking about passwords and identity management and all the issues um, that um, pertain to it of like why do you why do you need it right and so the answer is when a new employee comes into the company how do you add them well you drop them in the Active Directory I do think knows it's added to Active Directory and it just takes care of whatever provisioning permissions those kinds of things that you uh, assign to that employee next please. Um, I, I just I assume everybody on this call understands what Active Directory is, right? But it's you know just a, if you if you're not familiar with it, you know it's that it's that database that exists inside of a customer that really gives that employee um, access to various computer resource software applications, printers, whatever they're going to have access to. They need permission. Active Directory is that authority source. Right, and so we we there. That's where we define. If you're a network administrator, you can then define access into uh, the PSA system. Next, please. Uh, so uh, just to continue on with this contact integration, uh, give you a, so what you're looking at here is you're going from Active Directory in the lower left, right, and then you're going through ID Sync into the PSA system um, just above uh, that Active Directory symbol. Right? That's, so that's the connections that you're seeing here. Okay, next slide. Um, so uh, again, upper left, we're, we, we do provisioning of new employees and synchronization of that data. Right? So it's all the user data, passwords, roles, privileges, uh, we deal with uh, various kinds in, in uh, client portals, task fire. We manage it by individual users. You can do organization units. You can use security groups. Uh, the product's been certified by ConnectWise. Autotask doesn't do certification, but certainly we work quite closely with uh, their product management on this topic. Um, and in the case of Autotask, it's, it's, uh, you can get almost any kind of AD data out of out of uh, Active Directory and into Autotest using their user-defined field features. All right, so it's, so it's quite flexible. Right, next slide, please. Um, this, this is, so it doesn't really matter. So this happens to be an Autotest slide from Active Directory. If you have any background at all with Active Directory, this will be old home week for you, right? Most of these, most of these tabs up here, um, up in the upper left, are mostly Microsoft tabs. The, the little red outline are, are tabs that we've actually inserted for an ERP system that we support, a document management system, those kinds of things. And this and this and this screen in front is simply a way of taking an employee or a group of employees and just assigning 
the, you know, the login privileges of whether they're a basic user, an advanced user, whether they're a resource, et cetera, and their password and getting them to synchronize, right? So all of this is managed from the AD user interface. There's never a need for, to, once you put an employee in, there's just not a need to leave that user interface so you, to uh, add a new employee. Um, and as you add employees, they're provisioned into the PSA system. Uh, they can be disabled from um, Active Directory. Um, and then uh, once they're disabled, then, of course, that um, keeps the uh, employee from logging back in. Next slide, please. Uh, keep going. So um, introduce you to the Cloud Portal product at this point. So this was, so this was uh, the, um, our release. Next slide. This was our release to uh, be able to do Active Directory management uh, using a browser login, right? And so uh, if, you, if you go to um, the Cloud Marketplace, you can actually, there's a, there's a portal that you can log into which can give you access to um, one or many of your customers' active directories, right? So there's actually two products. Uh, one product is for really just uh, doing password resets only, and then uh, a somewhat higher level product is password resets and what we call user management, right? So it's, it's both for uh, resetting passwords, uh, handling with meta metadata, enabling, disabling accounts, and what we think of as that set of, um, of rights and privileges which is suitable for level one help desk management. So there's a lot of functionality inside of Active Directory. We did not try and reproduce that in here, right? What we tried to do was deal with those kinds of things that are commonly occurring um, at uh, the help desk. Uh, next slide, please. So this is, this is just another screenshot which just shows you um, all, all the users that exist inside of uh, a, a directory. That would, if you had multiple customers, you'd have many tabs. Each tab would be a laundry list of those users for that company. It allows you to delete accounts, reset passwords, change user data, et cetera. So the intent of this was to be able to, um, for a managed service provider to, to deliver what we call, you know, uh, managed directory services, right? So we see this as an additional revenue stream. Not that, not that managed service sites haven't been doing this already, but they've been doing it with trying to use VPNs and, you know, doing direct access into AD and there's all kinds of what I would call cost and security issues uh, about trying to do that with a larger help desk. Next slide, please. Um, so we, we really see this as, um, you know, competitive advantage. Uh, we, we think we have very strong Active Directory synchronization and management that's really unprecedented in the uh, industry. And so we think that when you're in a uh, competitive marketplace such as Office 365 that, um, it, it is useful to have features that you can talk about that go beyond what the guy across the street is pitching, right? Otherwise, you're just into a price war, right? And so we think that there's ways here to uh, use this product to, uh, you know, demonstrate your value add to uh, the entire sales process and the customer proposition. Next slide. Uh, one more, please. Um, I, I want to introduce you to our, our most recent offering for Office 365 and Azure. Next, please. Right. So this, again, uh, oh, low, uh, left side, lower left, is think of Active Directory again as the source, right? And the question is, how do you actually provision into Office 365 and the marketplace and, you know, get, how do you get all that licensing cost data back into Autotest or ConnectWise, right? So 
Um, we have a connector that we've introduced that does synchronization with both Azure AD and Office 365 and does provisioning into uh, both the data needs to be in both Odin Automation and Office 365 simultaneously. And so the question is, how do you, how do you create data once in Active Directory and get it in other databases without touching it again? Right? And so that's what we accomplished. Next slide, please. Okay. Um, so this diagram really, if you, if you see Active Directory at the top, right, You've got you've got you've got um, user information that you have to get into Odin Automation, and user information you have to get into Office 365, and then beyond beyond just user information, you have to get contact, distribution lists, um, alias accounts, all those kinds of things that make Office 365 productive, right? So, I mean, there's a number of ways that potentially can be done. The way that we're an advocate of doing it is you drop an employee into Active Directory, and then you do that provisioning into both these databases from Active Directory without ever having to leave that environment, right? So um, there are other ways you can do this. I mean, you can come into Active Directory, log into Odin, log into, um, uh, log into Odin, log into Office 365, we just think that represents an awful lot of overhead. And then when you're disabling, it starts to represent the reverse problem, right? So we think you ought to manage it all centrally, do it, do it, touch it once, and let the system handle the synchronization. Next problem, next slide, please. So this is so just to kind of give you a sense of all the data that's being synchronized. So this would be exchange and a lot of the product, all this data is coming across. And, and again, just doing it in, in Active Directory and synchronizing it uh, uh, up into uh, Office 365. Next. So um, we think we think this kind of product really lowers the administrative cost. We think it uh, helps an awful lot with um, security kinds of issues. I mean, there's an awful lot of times where. You know, you might have an employee that has, um, it's not just a matter, you know, they may have an account with you on Autotest, they may have Office 365, they may have uh, some kind of, you know, something going on in um, uh, the marketplace, you know, different kinds of software. And the question is, what happens when, how do you disable that? Well, you go to three different environments and you disable it. A lot of times there's these um, zombie accounts that get left behind, at least security holes, et cetera, right? So network engineers really like our product. It really just simplifies their lives. It, it, it really frees up, you know, it takes an IT person really to manage this, all this administrative stuff, and the answer is it frees up that IT person to, like, um, you know, go do, you know, what I would call uh, more revenue-based activities. Next slide, please. So um, all our products, we, we try and we have a quick start service package that comes with each one of the products, and we try and do a couple of things. One is, um, you know, just the name itself is we try and get them up and running with their very first customer very quickly, right, so that it doesn't turn it into a major project. And then two is we want to teach the MSP um, and whoever their lead engineer is is to be able to do customer number two. Right, so we accomplish that both with, you know, whatever their first customer is, right? So usually it takes a couple of three, what I would call desktop sharing sessions, and, and we'll have this product up and running with you fairly quickly. So we know the last thing an MSP wants to be doing is, you know, the last thing they need is, a, is another major project on their desk. And so we try and get through this very quickly with you and get you up and running. Um, next, please. Um, you know, so there's sales and technical support, and so customer installation. Uh, you know, we have we we also do custom connectors, so we're not you know. So you see the menu there. We're we're open to other. We we partner quite a bit. A lot of the features that we have come from customization to the product that we've done with MSPs. Right, uh, take help tickets. Naturally, we work through uh, Ingram on most of this stuff, uh, and. Um, whatever you need, we'll try and support you on it. 
Next, please. Um, I, I, I guess we can open up for questions at this point. Uh, yeah, so guys, feel free to put your questions in. Thank you very much, Marty, for going uh, going through that. Uh, we do have a couple more that we just want to uh, go through, just in regards to getting started with ID Sync within your micro. Uh, so to actually, you know, while while everyone's throwing their questions, or if anything comes up, yeah, so we'll definitely get to those. Um, but in regards to actually getting on board and starting starting the provisioning journey with the ID Sync with the cloud market. Um, for anyone who's not familiar with uh, you know, the show, I said this is all part of our uh, market. Uh, as I said, it is fully integrated with your Ingram Micro Tech Link or the, you know, the Ingram Micro web page that you're currently using to provision any of your orders. Um, selecting the Cloud Marketplace button at the top of the menu will take you straight into that. Uh, for any of our partners who are missing this link, now at the very end of the row there, you'll see the cogs. Uh, you can add this button to your menu to give you easy access through to our Cloud Marketplace for provisioning. Uh, as I said, once you are on our Cloud Marketplace, uh, selecting the Cloud Services section will display all the available services from, uh, from Ingram Micro on the Cloud Marketplace. Uh, in the ID Sync, you will find it under the Cloud Management Services section uh, and the ID Sync option. So as I said, once you're on that page and that's loaded up, uh, simply selecting the, the, the Begin button uh, to start procuring that, that service. And there's also a lot of information on here in regards to ID Sync, uh, which is stuff that we've covered in today's session, uh, and also if you need, need further referencing later. Um, to get yourself underway, as I said, simply selecting the relevant uh, tools that you would like to start procuring from the Office 365 uh, AD synchronizer down to the uh, order pass billing or the connect by billing integration. Uh, as I said, these are available as a, as a monthly or an annual contract commit, so you do have the ability to cancel any time under monthly. Um, in regards to the, the setup cost that we mentioned, there is setup um, options available as well to get yourself underway ASAP. Um, and as I said, we do have a lot of details on our knowledge base that goes around these products in regards to setting them up and implementing them. Uh, for anyone who wants to do the DIY install option, uh, there's a lot of documentation that we already have available uh, via our knowledge base, so along with all of our other products and solutions as well. Um, I highly recommend getting into the, the knowledge bases whenever you need to start writing any documentation or looking at any internal documents, uh, referencing stuff that we've already written up and, and processed for, for you guys. Um, now, I so said we are going to go into Q&A, but there is one thing I will be showing just while um, you know, we've got questions coming in, um, and we'll go through them as well while we're while as done. It's just a, a short little video that we've got, which goes into detail in regards to uh, the Cloud Marketplace and actually transacting this. Um, so as mentioned, this, this video is going to be available on our YouTube page. So if anyone um, is unable to view it for whatever reason, and there's sometimes the video can get a little bit tough to, to visually view. Um, so just to make sure that that's coming through now, and it's like it is. So give it up one sec, I'll just start this up. But as I said, guys, this will be a this video is available on our YouTube page, but you can always view it at a later stage. Uh, and this just goes into a bit of detail showing how our marketplace actually synchronizes with you know, the connect wires and the auto tasks of the world using the ID Sync feature. Um, so a lot of the re um, content referenced in this is based on our, our US correspondence. So a lot of the options in here are slightly um, out of date and in slight different positions, but the overall functions and features are still pretty. Um, so I said, going into the um, Ingram Micro Cloud Marketplace and selecting the ID sync, uh, as I said, it is your same Ingram Micro login to gain access to the content. So you can instantly jump straight in and start provisioning and procuring it, uh, selecting the terms that you would like to order this license under, um, and simply provisioning it. And so this will go either to a credit card or to your terms account if you have those set up within Ingram Micro. So then once that's processed, the order is uh, provisioned automatically in the back end, uh, and you will see that, that now starting to be uh, provisioned within your control panel. Um, so as mentioned, this will be sitting under the reseller control panel. Uh, it is priced for a reseller to take advantage of this with an integration into Connect Warner or an auto task. Um, and diving into that will give you all the options to get all the ID sync software, licensing, and uh, details to get yourself online and operational for that. 
So, so what we're looking at here, this is the, the ID Sync Billing Studio. Uh, so in this case, we're actually integrating it with our Connect client, and we are using a reference for a hosted exchange site solution. Um, so this would be very similar to a Office 5 solution, a Dropbox solution, any of the various product offerings that are available. Um, it will show the data which is currently available, not only in our marketplace, but also referencing within the Connect Flight system. Uh, so to verify any other data, you can always go through and check. Uh, in this case, we are checking the hosted mailbox, um, but you can also check your Office 365 or Dropbox subscription options as well. Um, and you do have the ability to view, view the current subscriptions that are being built within, the, within your Connect Live or your Autotask uh, environment, and then also the changes will automatically be replicated through. So as you provision extra users or order additional licensing, uh, it will be replicated to your ConnectWise agreements, uh, which when you look up your customers within ConnectWise, uh, in this example, uh, it will actually show the agreements currently being built out. Uh, and then as a user is provisioned or as services are changed, um, for example, creating an additional user to consume a particular license, uh, in this case we're provisioning a mailbox license, we will see that it will provision the license and it will also automatically replicate through the ID Sync tool, but you do have the option to force an update. So if you need it to apply ASAP, uh, or you want that billing to replicate uh, immediately to your customer, you can force that update to go through, and it will show the updated quantities from our system. Uh, now, in, in this case, it's consuming three licenses that were out of the original 10. So once that update is forced, I said that information is propagated through to your billing tool. Uh, I said in this case, we are using ConnectWise. Uh, and you can also view the log of the changes that were made uh, within that agreement. So as we can see, the, the mailbox account was set to three in this particular example. And you can view all the changes that are happened through ID, your IDSync Billing Studio via the agreements tab. So as you can see in this one, there was one additional license provision. Now, so this is available today from the Ingram Micro Cloud Marketplace. Uh, and if you have any questions at all, um, yeah, so we are we are here to assist, and we do have a dedicated team to assist you with that. So, so we have to go over to our webinar. Uh, okay. So for that video, for anyone who was ever watching, is on our YouTube, so you can view it uh, on our YouTube, and it will also be sent through on um, a lot of the additional. Um, uh, so there was a question that came through. Uh, so the ID sync, it is definitely on the cloud marketplace. Uh, it is just under, and I'm just going to flip back to that slide for the person who has raised that question. You, oh, here. So under our cloud marketplace, uh, it is under cloud management and ID sync, under identity synchronizer. So it is, it is um, currently available uh, and under cloud management for that piece. Yep, no, I've just double checked it as well outside of my uh, screenshots, and it definitely is there. So, <laughs> um, if you're having any issues um, locating it, well, feel free to give the team a call. We're happy to um, help out on that. Um, and I guess uh, uh, one question that I think is, uh, a few people probably start to consider, Marty, um, what do you see the, t the general turnaround time from, um, from, as you mentioned, ordering a license to getting everything set up and running on average for your MSC? Do you see it a quick, quick um, active, or do you see it they, they, there's a couple of process steps that need to go through? What's your average time? Well, uh, I would say there's, there's not a reason it should take, you know, more than a week. Uh, the, the typically, especially for something like the billing studio, right? I mean, it's usually what we like to do is uh, there's an installation guide, uh, and, and the quick start services we think are are important to get some of these you know set up and running quickly. You know, uh, otherwise, a lot of times we see network engineers they're just distracted with a lot of local work and. And uh, there's a number of, you know, I mean, you have, you know, you have the local PSA system, you have the marketplace system, you, you, you I mean, there's an instance of SQL Server that you need locally, et cetera. There's, there's the network connect, and, and sometimes they just don't, they don't understand how all those pieces need to work together. And, and uh, so they just get, they just get frustrated, right? So. Uh, but normally, I would say, you know, two, three working sessions of 60, 90 minutes is, 
uh, typically up and running. I mean, we see them get up and running in one working session. So um, it just depends on, you know, who we're working with and how far along they are. Cool. Beauty. So it's a, definitely a, a good option to you know, partners to get on board and quickly get their billing underway, especially with this new financial yeah. year in Australia. Uh, automate that billing piece yeah. and take, take that yeah. time off. Yeah. I would say that's true for I would say that's true for the contacts integration. It's true for the control panel, et cetera, right? So it's it's we've really got the process is really pretty standardized. And what we want to make sure though is that the lead engineer for the MSC understands the system sufficiently such that they can do customer number two, right? such that they don't actually, what we know about MSPs is they hate to open up help tickets with vendors, right? It, it just slows them up, right? And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to just preempt that whole issue and get rid of that cost off the MSP's debt. Beautiful, beautiful. And um, so uh, in regards to pricing, if anyone who's after pricing, is that if you log into the cloud marketplace, it will have all the pricing details for all of the various options that are available for ID Think. Uh, so it's on the, on the cloud marketplace, as I mentioned before, on the cloud management and ID sync. Um, a question that did come through is how is it built? Uh, depending on the solution is depending on how it's built. Uh, for example, the ID sync part of it, synchronizing the identity, that is done on a per user basis. So I believe it's bulk bought for a, you know, a couple of you know, 50 or 100 type users. So that is uh, pre bought. For the billing studio, uh, it is a fixed fee per reseller. So resale, and I believe it's per PSA integration. So normally a resale would only have one PSA, so it's it's sort of a one-to-one. -one. So whatever fee it is on there, which uh, I believe it's a very reasonable fee, under 100 bucks to automate your whole billing piece, uh, and that's per per reseller per month. So you don't need to worry about licensing ID Sync Billing Studio for each of your customers. Uh, it is just licensed on a month-by-month -month basis for you as the reseller to automate that whole piece. Um, versus the AD sync parts, which are normally tied to particular users per month. So I think most of the stuff that's all come through are probably all done. So look, thank you very much, Marty, for joining us. I know it's probably fairly late over, over the other side of the globe, but um, definitely appreciate your time joining us uh, this, this morning. Um, and yeah, as I said, guys, if you do have any extra questions that come through, look, the details are still on the screen. Uh, feel free to give um, give us give us a call. Give a, give your local cloud contact a, a bell. Uh, happy to go through and get uh, any other questions or any, any other information you need. Um, but apart from that, thank you very much for joining us, and thank you very much, Marty. Right, and thank you. And you know, all you guys out there, and we're looking at these products. If you you know, please get in touch uh, if you need any help or trying to understand how they fit. Happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Beautiful. Cheers. Thank you, Marty, and thank you, thank you, all our partners for joining us. Uh, this uh, will be a lot of the details will be on our socials um, you know, in the case. So feel free to keep it keep it, keep it on those. And any questions, drop us a line. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you very much, everyone. Leader has disconnected. The conference will be terminated in five minutes.